Hello, Cappies. Good to be back. I missed you guys. Hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. So a lot of people send me messages on my Vimeo account asking me to do the weekly uh, and then continue August readings. So I still have six signs to do August readings for. So I'm going to do the weekly now uh, for the 12 signs uh, starting today. And then when I finish the 12 signs for the weekly, I'm going to continue with the monthly for August. Okay, so Cappies, I love you guys. Let's see what shows up for you. So, of course, this is going to be a soulmate reading. Uh, that's what people want. But also we're going to ask what's coming into your life, your energy, your unique own energy. <clears throat> And would you be handling, dealing with, and how to best handle it for your highest good. And of course, the second half of the video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to see what's going on. And I just looked on the bottom of the deck. So this person is reminiscing about you often because of the connection they have with you. Um past lifetime connection six of cups <clears throat> yeah reminiscing let's see universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of capricorn for capricorn's highest good please universe what's coming towards capricorn what will capricorn be dealing with facing and i see extras already isn't that interesting <clears throat> yeah that's good I love it. Oh my goodness, Cappies. You feel like the whole weight of the world is on your shoulders. Cappies, yeah. You deal with a lot often. And I see that often in Capricorn people, men and women. You guys take on a lot. You take on a lot. And at the same time, you're so resilient. A lot of you dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, also Virgo. And of course, the air signs are showing up here. And again, Leo showing up here. No matter what sign they are, they're showing up here already. Um, <clears throat> problems with communication that have been present for some time now. This person has been absent from your life for a while, uh, not wanting to be absent, but had to be absent. This person loves you dearly. So here is another soulmate um, energy connection from past lives. Uh, the sun card. You are like twins. So let me see. You see? My goodness. Cappies, you've been through a lot of heartbreak because of this. A lot of heartbreak. But it looks like it's not going to get any worse than it has been. So the Ten of Swords is like the worst you ever feel. But that's bad because the Three of Swords you're feeling. But look how resilient, how grounded, how strong you are. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, please step in show very clear messages. What's coming towards Capricorn? What will Capricorn be dealing with facing? My gosh, you miss them a lot. You miss this person immensely. Of course you do, because it's a soulmate connection. Yeah, so that means it's mutual. They miss you as well. Uh, five of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again. Again, my goodness, look at this. Ten of Swords. So if you think they're not handling it, uh, or they're handling it well, no, they're not. They, they are just as distraught as you are. Ten of Swords showing up twice uh, for you and for them. Leo showing up here very strongly. So this person had to uh, handle something heavy duty in their life. And that's why they had to restrain themselves from being in your life, from even being in touch with you. Uh, yeah, heavy duty energy. My goodness, what a connection you have. Cappies, you're doing well for yourself financially, it shows like. You have very good financial karma. Look at this. The sun, the best energy in the whole deck with the ace of pentacles and knight of pentacles. So a lot of you um, are doing very well 
are very successful working whether you work for yourself or somebody else you are being profitable you you profit you bring profit in a very diligent skilled worker let me see what's going on here what's coming towards capricorn my goodness you, you do a lot you do a lot of work um a lot of my goodness look at this so you have ten of swords twice and the world twice uh double whammy double strong message you too you and your soulmate have been through so much heartbreak and sadness uh but you didn't go through it in vain because you are learning balancing karmic scales over here with this world card you have tied up a lot of karmic cycles so your life your next lifetime with this person will be much easier than it was in this lifetime this just wanted to fall out um this person views you as attractive powerful charismatic so this person feels you have a lot of power within you seven of pentacles so yeah this person has been going through a lot of drama in their life a lot of you are dealing with the virgo ace of my goodness so cappies <clears throat> this is financial success showing up here because of your good karma so you have helped a lot of people in your past and this keeps showing up in capricorn readings uh you have accumulated a lot of good karma because you've done things for people not because you wanted anything in return but because you did it out of your good heart um to help uh, and you know a lot of people will take that for granted they will get used to it and expect it so right now you are getting rewarded with excellent energy for yourself now it's time for you to take care of you cappies worry about you self-love self-love you've done so much for others including family members who didn't appreciate it now it's time for you to take care of you um um, a lot of you cappies have uh, some kind of talent that if you pursue it you're going to be very successful financially while helping other people with your services or your products or both so it's a win-win situation uh, some of you have very successful businesses yeah this is very good let me see the clarification for these two very important yeah this is this is you going through a lot a lot a lot a lot Oof. let's see universe please clarify these energies what's coming towards capricorn what will capricorn be dealing with facing yeah heartbreak due to love showing up here um yeah no communication showing up here for a lot of you you see heartbreak three of swords pointing up even though it's five of swords problems with communication this was you this is you patiently waiting for this person <clears throat> as long as you don't put your life on hold it's okay um we're gonna check up on their energy and see what they're up to you want reconciliation that is your main objective here absolutely yeah you see you love this person so much so here's reconciliation card with the sun card uh, this person also wants that uh what's stopping them they have some drama going on um the best card in the whole deck this is you being patient very patient uh you are a true earth sign very grounded patient reliable let me see what is going on with your soulmate universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of capricorn for capricorn's highest good please universe the soulmate of capricorn no matter what sign or gender they are collectively what is going on with the soulmate of capricorn how is the soulmate of capricorn doing uh with their life that cappies are allowed to see for the highest good 
And how is the soulmate of Capricorn currently relating to Capricorn, especially emotionally? What's going on with the soulmate of Capricorn? A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. Also, Taurus in Capricorn is indicated. Again, Virgo and now Gemini also. Uh, this person is single. They're not seeing anybody. They're not interested in anybody but you. This person is reminiscing about you because we saw it with the Six of Cups. They're trying to manifest their own uh, financial independence. This person doesn't want to depend on anybody. Doesn't want to drain anybody. Oh my gosh, this person is in love with you. So here it is, Two of Cups. Yeah, they feel unbalanced. So there's drama going on in their life. Nevertheless, it shows very clearly this person is very connected with you emotionally. Um, mm -mm -mm, what a beautiful connection. I am curious to see what will clarify that Two of Pentacles. Universe, please step in, show us clarification. What is going on with the soulmate of Capricorn? What is the soulmate of Capricorn dealing with, facing? Look at this quiet time, silent treatments. You see, they're trying to figure out the best way to proceed, when to proceed. So, two of wands. So, they feel like they are at a crossroads, trying to figure out the best time and way and the best way to proceed yeah um this person is fearful that you may not want to communicate with them or be in their life but this person feels that they've met you for a reason and they have you do have a soul connection from past lives with this individual some of you are dealing with cancerian pisces scorpio also leo very strongly leo sagittarius aries yeah, this person views you as successful, attractive, charismatic. Like people know you, you see? So this person wants to manifest you in their life, to be, to stay in their life because of how they feel about you. So here it is again from another deck, uh, Six of Cups, which represents past lifetime connection with you. Very strong connection. So both of you feel it. This person is so stressed out. Um, for them to feel this way about you and not be able to be in your life right now is very stressful for them. My goodness, again, Virgo is popping up. Virgo is popping up a lot for you, Capis. Uh, also, Capricorn and um, Taurus showing up here. You see, this is killing them. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords again, and the uh, fear factor over here with the Moon card, scared of the unknown. Uh, if you reached out to this person, they would be uh, very receptive. Yeah, this person would be receptive. So, yeah, so they were unpredictable in the past, so they had some craziness going on where they had to run out the door, sort of speak. This shows unexpected quick messages. All pages are messengers, but page of ones represents very unexpected quick messages. This person is missing you a lot. Oh my gosh, yeah. They have drama going on um, in their life. Uh, there's somebody from their past that is still in the life indirectly that is very toxic and controlling so this person maybe was married or living with an ex now uh who was very toxic and controlling maybe they have kids together or share business together or something this person is still controlling and toxic um their ex something to do with money together somehow they tied together by money yeah seven of pentacles with ace of pentacles they could be um have legal battle of some sort regarding property money 
maybe child support stuff like that this person does not want to bring you drag you into this drama devil energy is not good with the knight of wands yeah i just looked on the bottom of the deck again this person is reminiscing about you very often uh, this is very emotional for them let's see let's see more what is going on with the soulmate universe what's going on with the soulmate of capricorn you see yeah they have drama going on the tower yeah through that drama they have going on they are balancing a lot of karmic debts with those individuals or that specific individual closing karmic cycles so that was a very or is a very karmic relationship or connection i should say because that person is no longer active with them but uh there's something tying them together maybe child support or some kind of legal battle in the court system judicial system something like that um my goodness oh yeah look at this so your person has been through a lot of heartbreak because of that um, toxic individual who showed up as the devil with knight of wands um you see this depiction here in this particular deck the four of swords shows three of the swords right uh, behind them and they look like they did but they not they just absolutely exhausted from heartbreak here it is three of swords behind them but they are resting they are trying to gain their strength um and start all over again my goodness this person is in love with you so no matter what sign they are or gender they are this person is in love with you somehow they feel or are guessing or feeling that you love them also maybe you expressed it to them a long time ago this person feels it's like you keep them alive so king of cups means hidden love unexpressed love this person is not expressing it to you this is um silent treatment card no communication while they feeling all this they are not able to talk about it right now my goodness they're going through so much and so are you let's see what's going on with the soulmate of capricorn universe the soulmate of capricorn my goodness they want to see you they want to spend time with you celebrate things with you laugh with you yeah they heartbroken so here it is three of swords pointing up again in the five of swords so this person is not giving up on you yeah they're not giving up on you yeah you see here they are showing up bringing the cup of love this person loves you oh my goodness they hiding it from you so here it is uh hiding uh not showing their true feelings for you at this time not because they don't want to but because they can't seven of swords is hiding something and it's hiding they are hiding their love for you not because they don't want to love you they just can't be in your life right now um this person is going through a lot of drama because the tower showed up in position one This person showing up as attractive, uh, powerful, but remember they have this heavy duty karma they balancing with that person. So their wish is to reconnect with you when they can. This is their wish, nine of cups. Yeah, they want to manifest this magician, Virgo and Gemini energy. You see, that's what they want. They're, so they view you as their ultimate soulmate yeah this is it the sun again you guys are like twins repeating meeting each other lifetime after lifetime after lifetime there are some lifetimes that you are not incarnated at the same time so of course you don't meet but when that happens they are your guide and you are their guide depending who is alive and who is in the spirit world so that's the type of connection you guys have my goodness i love it 
this person has a lot of passion for you once a new start yeah so they know this is not the end that there will there will be communication uh the universe is showing you this is not the end in this lifetime between the two of you the universe will give you another chance to resolve this and then of course depending on how you use your free will uh, together uh, that will determine what the outcome of this relationship will be between the two of you um, but you met this person for a reason look at all these major arcanas um, this is a soul connection you have from other lifetimes my goodness this person this person has been through a lot with that devil energy knight of wands and now the tower and look at all this and them going through this my goodness a lot but so have you you've been going through a lot cappies we're gonna go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmates current true long-term intentions and plans for you long time long term uh in the long yeah in the long term what they planning Anything they hiding from you have up their sleeve, whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the summit connection at this time to help you out. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's about your health, finances, business, uh, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.